Okay, hello again. <laughs> My name is Emma and welcome to Craft Night Thursday. Okay, so we're gonna do a little something different because um, usually what I do, I do a lot of multitasking. So I'm always doing one thing, another thing, this thing, that thing, you know. So I'm always doing th different things. Um, unless I'm in a project that I know will, I, would will need my full attention that I'm only doing that one thing but because the, these projects that I'm doing are they take a long time to do so I have to do them in increments um especially because they take long and um like I had made uh for St. Patrick's Day I made this little dish uh a little key holder that I really did like a lot. It was in shape of a, uh, a three-leaf clover, and I use it every day. I put my, my, my keys in there, but I wanted it to be deeper. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to attempt to do is make the bow a little bit deeper. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm gonna try. Uh, what I'm using this time, and I couldn't believe I found it, and it was, a, what do you call it? Uh, an Easter bunny, and I had the whole little kid, it had the paws and everything, and the tail, and the tail. Now, I don't have to make it, okay, because this would hold my keys perfectly, just the way it is, but I really want it to be pink. We are going to try, and I'm going to roll this out, and then I am going to make the stamp, okay, or the outline. So, I'm going to put you down here. I put you here instead because I noticed that on my tripod, you guys are a little bit um, too too far. As a matter of fact, you guys are still too far. So, I'm going to just move, I'm going to move everything, I'm going to move everything up. And I'm going to bring this and I think I, that's what I did the last time. So, I'm going to leave that over there. And I am going to roll out the, what do you call it? I have these little, you have these little markers on here. And it tells you, you know, how far you can go for, you know, it just stops it, you know, just stops it. So I'm gonna roll this out, try to make it as, not too thick, but thick enough so I can make the, um, the imprint of the, what do you call it? Now, I'm trying to think, if you guys can come up with an idea, because I don't know, it's still, it might be, it might work. What do you think? I think it's a good, it's a good size. So I'm going to, I'm going to make the imprint. I'm going to move it over a little bit. I'm going to make the imprint. I'm going to throw it over. And I'm just going to start cutting it out. Now the whole thing is... I'm trying to make sure I get it out so okay so I got that now I'm gonna save this so I got this okay that's what I want I want this but now what I want to do is make the bottom in here so and that's what happened the last time I had to like really push in there with my finger to make the um the oval which looks nice here but actually I know it cracked on the bottom on the uh, on the other one maybe I should go this way it's always a trial and error with these guys so okay I'm gonna go this way and what I did with the other one was that I ended up, I rolled it out and I lost, I lost the imprint of what I wanted. 
so that wasn't good so what I'm going to do is that, okay, so I'm going to have to keep picking this up. See how it's getting that dent? Kind of like a dent in there, but that's still not what I want because I really need it to be really deep. Now, I thought about making um, an oval, like maybe just cutting it out. Okay, you're going to see in the back. How it's going to be like in an oval and an oval shape on the bottom because that's what it looks like see how it's kind of like has that we can't see it that well kind of like that lip going on in there but I don't want to do it too much because that's what happened to the other one. It got too... It got too thin. And with this, I don't want it... I don't want it to lose its shape. I don't know. I'm just going to have to keep practicing until I feel like okay that's that's what I was looking for and one thing about this is that if you don't hurry up especially with this kind of clay it dries really quick I'm still trying to get that oval and trying to place it down a little bit I mean it'll be okay but I'm going to have to work with it because I really want that, um, like that border around, I might have to put a different, because it's like, it's already losing its shape already and that's, that's what I don't like. Because it's being stretched out. Okay. Mm. I mean, it'll be okay, but I don't want it to lose that shape. That roundness that's what I'm looking for and it's already starting to look wonky and I don't want it to be I don't want it to be that thin neither I do want it to have a wall, but I'm losing the shape. It just feels like I'm losing the shape of the um, the ears. Okay, so I don't have no way to really get in here. Let me see. Just trying to push it in a little bit. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so I think that's okay. Put this way, I don't want it to get hard. I mean, it's not going to be perfect because the way I was thinking, I was thinking at first of cutting a hole. Cutting a hole. But I think I'm going to try that another time. Like cutting a hole in here. And then attaching it from behind. But I don't know if that's going to work. So I'm just going to do it like this for now. And I'm going to try that another time. At least it has that wall which I'm looking for. I just want that depth. And I hope it's not too thin on the back. And yet, the only thing about it is I can't see. If I lift it up, I just don't want it to break. Okay, I don't know. The ears just, I don't know. It's supposed to look like that. But, again, I want it to be a key dish. Okay, so maybe I should just squeeze it a little bit. To make it oval and that'll be a little bit better is that okay okay so all right so yeah I'm gonna have to work on it because I really I really wanted I really wanted to have a deeper like I wanted it to have like a cup dish but I think in order for it to have that it would, I would have to cut a circle in here, I think. As long as my keys fit, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, that's it. That's it for this. So my keys fit. That's what I'm looking for. And this is not going to be that smooth because I'm doing it with my finger. And there's just no way for me to roll in there. But I think the wall came out okay. And, um, yeah, so that's it for that. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to let it dry. And this dries, this should dry like, I'd say, like over, over, no. i say about in two days. So that's what I mean. Like, I'm always doing things. But I can't show you there, you know, the finished product because then I'd have to edit it. And she, it's just. I just rather do it increments by increments and then show you. And um, yeah, editing, editing takes a lot. Oh, sorry guys, I was trying to get my phone. Let's see. What I, okay, nobody. I know anyway. Oh my God. Maybe you don't want to be interrupted. Okay, let me fix this before we fall down again. Oh, Jesus, stay. All right, there. Okay, so, okay. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna let it dry. Probably next, um, next Thursday, it should be dry by then. And then I'll paint it pink. Now, I do want to, like, draw the face, so I'll probably end up drawing the face, you know, like with black and maybe pink for the ears, and I'll draw the face, the face in, in here. Actually, I don't remember what I used. I used, I think I did use my finger, too. For this but what my mistake was that I rolled it out and I shouldn't have done that okay so I'm gonna put this away um, I'm not gonna make the pause because I really don't have a reason to make that to use this but I will use it for another time maybe for something else I don't know but I really thought that the cookie cutter I mean you can use it again you can use it on cookies as long as you as long as you wash it really good 
it's fine. Um, okay, so that's that for that. I'm going to put this back in this bag. And put all this back and then I'm going to put it up by my TV so that it so that it can dry. So let's get that out of the way and I'll move that in a second. Now the other craft item that I was thinking of doing, oh, I didn't show you my son made a little dog. It was it's still so cute. <laughs> he made a little dog and it was supposed to be or is he there? Yeah, it's supposed to be him. <laughs> I think he did a great job. And I said, oh my God, I can't wait to paint him. So I'll probably end up painting. I'm going to try to look at his colors really well. And I'm going to try to paint, paint it the same colors, you know, wherever the brown and the black is at. So I can't wait to, to color this. <laughs> paint it. Okay. All right. Here we got that. All right, so now, since we got that out of the way, and one thing I, I did notice about the um, uh, the clay is that if if you do it on newspaper, it's not, it's not like a putty, the, the print won't come out on the clay, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, it was called, what kind of clay was it? Molding clay, just das das. It has to stand for something. It's just das d a s molding clay. That's all it says. Um, it's not like the other one that the Crayola. Um, that one, that dry air. Oh, that that one. It reminds me of of sand from the beach. I just, I, but I'm going to work with it anyway, but I just wouldn't trust it. I mean, if you, if you drop it, it'll break all like that. No, it, it reminds me. Oh, what is that? Those, those little, those, those little planters that you plant, those little brown little things that you put flowers in. I forgot what they're called. Okay. Anyway, um, I w did start something else. And that was, I got the batting for my little cozy because I want to make a little cozy to hold my bowls because when I get them out of my, um, when I get them out of my microwave, oh my God, they are like so 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 hot and I always I'm always always burning burning my hands <sighs> okay shoot where is this thing and I really hate that so I said you know what I saw these cozies and I thought they were really cute and I said oh you know what I gotta make a couple of those so I did buy the fabric and I did buy me a fabric cutter I gotta be careful because I don't want to cut my fingers, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure these things are sharp. It's a blade. So this right there is is the blade. So you want to be careful. So I got the batting. I'm always throwing things on the floor. So I got I think I got a whole yard. So I could I can make a lot of them with these. Okay. And she did say, um, I should have enough. i make sure nothing, why is it sticking? I really, one thing I'm going to do next time, and I'm just going to measure it right now, but she did say nine and a half, nine and a half by nine and a half. I don't know if I'll be able to cut it on here, but um, let's see. Uh, nine and a half by nine and a half? That doesn't seem like a lot. 
And that's what she said. Nine and a half. Because she said you can do them with the um, quarters. No, it was nine and a half. So I'm gonna go nine and it's probably gonna be small. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. She had this one um I don't know what it was, some kind of marker that you were able to use, which was really cool. Because once you wet it, it it like it disappears. I have to find that. So, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you're not looking, right? Okay, so. Oh, come on. Stay down. No, that way. I'll pick you up a little bit so you won't fall. So, it was nine and a half by nine and a half. Where's the other one? Uh, okay, so let me go over here. I don't think I'll be able to use that thing on here because I, I don't want to ruin my table. So I'll probably... Where's the other one? I did use this one, didn't I? I didn't use this one? I thought I used that one. Maybe it was on that side. Okay. I know it's not that far. Jesus, how far did I do this thing? can't see okay so I got it here by nine and a half and I'm gonna go right here That doesn't look like nine and a half right here. Okay, that doesn't, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't think of, what the hell did I do with it? I mean, I could, I don't know. I do, let's see, is that nine and a half? Okay, let me see if it cuts. I might have to, am I doing it wrong? I don't know. Ah, uh, durable steel. Oh, wait. Premium blade lock. What the heck is this? Oh, I didn't know I had a blade lock. Okay, so we're going to do this again. I hope I don't ruin. Okay, it's not cutting. So and I think it's not because I don't want to ruin this table. So I'm not going to do it on here. But I didn't know it had a blade lock. So that's pretty cool. All right. I don't know what they use. Cardboard? I know, I know it's some kind of mat. I just don't want to ruin this table. I don't know. Let's do this again. I'm going to try. Guys, it's my first, I don't want to cut myself. 
Oh my god, I can't even... Okay, I can't even press it down. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. It does, um... Okay. So it does work. <laughs> okay. Um, definitely going to look for a mat to cut this stuff with because, yeah, I don't want to, it, that thing was sharp. I just don't want to cut my table. Um, I'm going to go again and I think, where was I? Right here? Yeah, I'm just going to go, uh, I don't know. She said, and her name was, what was her name? Um, the Gemini, the crafty Gemini. Her Jennifer? Is her name, her name Jennifer? Okay. So, and you got to really... Yeah, I just don't want to do it. Okay, so I got it. Okay. So we had that nine and a half. I'm going to iron it out. And, of course, I probably won't do this until, um, I think I need two of these. Yeah, I need two of these. So I'm going to cut another one out later. And I probably won't be doing this um, until, like, for, I mean, I'll do the, what do you call it, the putting together and stuff like that. But for the sewing part, I probably won't do it until Saturday Night Threads. Okay, guys, so, yeah, and I still have a lot of coloring to do, so I probably won't do that until Thursday. Um, I have all my little, oh, let me show you. I was going to try to attempt to color these right now, but I don't have time. So, like a fish in a sea, so glad you caught me, and I will catch you tomorrow night, Faith Night Friday, and, uh, and then so on. So, okay, guys, have a nice evening. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't drink too much. <laughs> and if you do, get a those people who drive you home <laughs> and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye